before I start stripping this sucker down and maybe try to retrofit a old school gas tank and seat on her, I'm gonna take her for a little ride because she might be down for a few days. First time starting her up after doing all the work to her. I'm super pumped you guys. A bunch of parts just came for the dirt bike. I threw them on just for a general mock-up. And I'm pretty pumped. Start out as a 2005 Yamaha TTR 250. I stripped all the plastics, the gas tank seat, all that off. So I'm throwing on early 80s Yamaha XT 250 body parts. So the gas tank's off an 81. May end up doing a different color with the gas tank. We'll see. Got some new knobbies. For just a quick mock-up, I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, I think the finished product's gonna look pretty awesome. My very first bike was a 1977 Honda XL 175. Super old bike, found it in the back of an automotive shop, offered the guy 100 bucks. Cleaned up the carburetor, you know, just did the typical oil change spark plug, it started right up. Learned how to ride on that, and I've kind of always been into older stuff ever since then. It's gonna be a fun build, it'll be cool having a backup vehicle. Washers, rubber washers, nuts. Lock washers. Before I go ahead and just make a custom bracket, I wanted to see if I could use the existing one and just throw some hardware together. I found several of these little brackets sitting around, trimmed one edge off, mounted it up to this existing bracket, and now I have a mounting hole that's a little bit farther back. As far as keeping the front of the gas tank on, this is the original mount bushing rubber piece that came with it. I'm just gonna zip tie it on. There's two holes on the sides here. And we'll test her out. This is just a general cafe racer scrambler seat that they sell on eBay. There's tons and tons of them. It has a pretty universal mounting system. I'm gonna try to use this mounting bracket, line up with these holes, and mount this sucker. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of these front bolts because they're hitting on there. Looks like it's gonna work perfect. Gods, it is so gorgeous out here. And it's not a national park, so it's not packed and like the dogs can be here. You can fly the drone. And it's quiet. It's quiet. Besides this right Yeah, now. besides all this going on right now. I get all the new parts on the bike, put gas in the tank, and it starts leaking from the fuel pack cock. So I put sealant on there, let it sit for a few days, and it's not leaking. The bike's running great. Man, it's so cool to have a bike to adventure like this. So gorgeous, Valley of the Gods, you guys gotta check it out. It's been so nice seeing Dan and Jen. They're such great people, my Nevada family. Ready to go back? Oh, I'm ready, I'm driving. All right, you're yeah, driving, I'm, I'm riding on back, dibs. <laughs> we are in Dan and Jen's RV that they've been full-time traveling and living out of for the last 18 months. It's really cool to see them doing it because when I first met them, they were kind of talking about doing it. And now it's already been a year and a half. So We've said it on our vlog, we'll say it on yours. You actually inspired us. That's awesome. Yep. Getting out when there. you showed up and you were talking about your travels and whatever, it, it was like, we gotta do that. Gotta so, do it, yeah. Gotta do it, definitely. Life is short, we gotta go. They also have a YouTube channel and they just hit 10,000 subscribers a few months ago, which is a pretty cool milestone. Dan and Jen Nevada, if you guys are interested. But they've had, sounds like a really great time just hopping around the US and from here, you guys are headed Colorado. Colorado next. Yeah. A lot of the passes will be opening up and summer in Colorado. Yeah, yep, that's, that's a good plan. plan. Our paths finally crossed and it's been great catching up with them. So 
Definitely yeah. getting to meet Kinsey and every and hanging out with Ben too. Yeah. See yeah. the new fur babies. And the dogs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all three dogs. We're a few burritos lighter, but <laughs> <laughs> awesome time. Definitely. Just about a half mile that way, the lake is all dried up, and that's where we were planning on going. So we found this camping spot last night. Worked out pretty nice at least. So of a dried up lake bed. We're hoping to find some water today. And we are at the lake. Well, what's left of the lake? Little smidget over there. But everywhere else, it's dried up. This used to be a peninsula and it is completely dry. So dry, so sad. I really wanted to show Kinsey this place. I guess I'm showing her, but it's just not the same. So I'm glad we got to experience it last year when we did because it's so different now. The water was blue as can be. It was so nice. We just got to Lone Rock Primitive Camping, Glen Canyon National Recreation, National Park, something or another. Anyways, there's a big rock out in the middle of the water. We got tons of people camping out here. We're at least just gonna hop in. And guess what, you guys? There's actually water. So we're gonna get to go swimming. All the dogs, we're all getting baths today. We're just gonna try not to get stuck in the sand with this giant board. That don't sound good. All right, um, maybe the Four wheel drive's being weird. Something's making a weird sound. I think we're just gonna park right here and call her a day. She's doing good, we don't wanna push it. Oh, we made it though. We made it! Park, we don't even know if you can swim. We don't know what you can do really. You don't do much. Gotta make sure we don't lose Jimmy. There's some big birds flying around. Hey, Jimmy! Hey, Jimmy! Jimmy! We're gonna lose Jimmy. We got a sandstorm coming. Starting to blow everywhere. Kinsey and Bugger are gonna get blown away. Holy cow. We should have moved. That's got the right idea. Kinsey is putting together her world renowned, world famous, known far and wide, hobo pack. This asparagus was gifted to us by Walmart. Someone forgot their groceries and they ended up giving us the wrong groceries and we didn't find them until we got to camp. Mint, asparagus, and a whole bunch of limes. Yeah. So we got some Coronas to uh, pair with those limes. Yep. Mine as well. That. This is our setup tonight in the Ford. Do you want to shine on the bed? It looks really luxurious. It actually, luxurious. you know, I have slept so well back here. Like, what I'm talking about is not waking up once in the middle of the night. That's how I would describe sleeping well. Ben plans on buying this from us when we finally leave Utah and throw the camper on the back. But right now, it works as a perfect backup overland vehicle because we can actually all fit in it. There's so much room. Having the dirt bike on the back here, I can still crawl through the window. <laughs> and not have to open up the latch or take off the dirt bike. So we still have access to the back. And we've been utilizing that quite a bit. What's this you got? This is the Camp Right Cot Tent. One person. Camp Right, don't camp wrong, that's what they say. Camp Right, don't camp wrong. So it's a single one person cot tent and Ben doesn't even use a cot. That's working out good. Ben sleeps well on the ground with yeah. nothing. What do you think about the dirt bike, Annie? I think it's pretty cool. It's working out nice. It's running great, having a blast with it. And I've been using it as a scouting vehicle to go ahead because this truck is so dang long. Before I let you guys go, there is a few people I need to thank. First off, two new Patreon supporters. Frederick Michael Elliott and Corey Galliott. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Matthew Brokenshire for recently donating on PayPal. So you guys are all helping keep this journey going. Really appreciate your support, you guys, and I will talk to you all later.